How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to talk about web hosting. So for you beginners out there that are still getting into the world of web hosting, you might be wondering, what is web hosting? Now, web hosting is a service that allows individuals and organizations to make their website accessible on the internet. It's a crucial aspect of building and maintaining a website as it provides the necessary infrastructure and support for the website to be accessed by users around the world. When a website is created, it is built using a combination of coding languages such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and it is stored on a computer or a server. In order for the website to be accessible on the internet, it needs to be hosted on a server that is connected to the internet, and this is where web hosting comes in. Now, if you're in the market for a good, reliable, secure, and consistent web host, I recommend either Hostinger or Bluehost. Both of these web hosting services are very reliable, and these are my two most recommended. I personally like to use Hostinger, but I just wanted to give you guys an extra option if you're interested in Bluehost. Um, either way, you'll find the full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about these uh, web hosting services in the description down below, as well as links to pricing and discounts. Now, web hosting companies such as Hostinger and Bluehost provide servers that can store and manage websites, and they also provide the necessary technical support and maintenance to ensure that the website is always up and running. Now, there are several different types of web hosting, each with their own unique features and benefits. Let's start with shared hosting. And shared hosting is the most basic and affordable type of web hosting. In shared hosting, multiple websites are hosted on a single server, and the resources of the server are shared among all the websites. This is a great option for small businesses and personal websites that don't have a lot of traffic or require a lot of resources. Now, VPS hosting is a more advanced type of web hosting that provides greater control and flexibility. In VPS hosting, a website is hosted on a virtual server, which is a partition of a physical server. This allows each website to have its own dedicated resources, and it also provides more control over the server, making it a great option for websites that have higher traffic or more demanding requirements. Now you have dedicated hosting and Hostinger does not provide dedicated hosting. So we're going to have to go to uh, Bluehost for this. There we go. We have dedicated hosting right here, which is the most advanced and expensive type of web hosting. In dedicated hosting, a website is hosted on its own physical server. This provides the greatest level of control and resources, making it a great option for very large businesses or websites that receive a lot of traffic which is why it's a very expensive option. Now, cloud hosting is a newer type of web hosting that is becoming increasingly popular. A website is hosted on a network of servers that are connected to the internet. This provides greater scalability and flexibility as the website can automatically use more resources as needed. And in addition to uh, shared hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated hosting, and cloud hosting, you also have e-commerce hosting and WordPress hosting. And these are just more specialized types of web hosting. And you can also find uh, more types of web hosting depending on the web hosting provider that you're going with. So uh, for example, Hostinger has specialized hosting such as hosting for agencies and cyber panel hosting as well as Minecraft server hosting. So when choosing a web hosting provider, it's definitely important to consider the needs of your website, including the amount of traffic and resources it requires, as well as the level of control and support you need. Many web hosting providers also offer different levels of service, such as basic, intermediate, and advanced plans. So you can choose the one that best fits your needs, depending on your situation and what you're looking for out of your web host. In conclusion, web hosting is a very important aspect of building and maintaining a website as it provides the necessary infrastructure and support for the website to be accessed by users around the world. And with the several different types of web hosting available, each with their own unique features and benefits, you can weigh out your options and see which one fits your needs most. Again, if you guys are interested in a very reliable web host, you can go with Bluehost or Hostinger. You'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below if you're interested, as well as the full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And they're both covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you do have 30 days to go ahead and check them out. And if you're not satisfied, you can just get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day.